Highlight of Rhode Island. My name is Kathy Costa. I'm your host for today. We also have Patty McGarrihan and Josie Way co-hosting with me. And we have something a little bit different today. Um, we don't get too many oil photographers here. Um, we have Mandy Mc McLaughlin. McLaughlin. Thank yep. you. <laughs> I always mix up the name. I don't know why, but I do. <laughs> so we have here, she, um, she has updated technology for the oil photography. Um, it has developed quite a bit over the years since I've started reading cards for people. Um, because traditionally it was the, the camera. Right. And um, now, so we've upgraded since then. So can you just talk a little bit about how sure. it started and how where we are right now? Actually, that's terrific because um, when I had my aura done for the first time, it was down at the Grateful Heart in Wickford. I think <laughs> everybody got their first aura down there. And it was the curling system, which were the Polaroid pictures. Yeah. Uh -huh. And um, this lovely lady named Laura would um, explain the colors and, and what they meant. So that's my husband and I. Mm. And um, some years later, um, I started to take classes to become Reiki. So after my Reiki one, I, I got the energy. I understood it. I understood the hands up, the connection. Mm -hmm. I understood the energy on the people. And then Reiki two, I started to really feel other people's mm -hmm. energy. By masters and master teacher, I was like, hmm, you know what? If Master Yasuri could go up on a mountain and get connected and become Reiki, there's got to be for a way for me to see the energy that's out mm -hmm. there, the energy that's coming off of people, the chakras, the blocks. So I started researching different systems, and um, the curling system, by that time, uh, uh, Grateful Hot was being sold and they were going out of business. Their camera was quite dated and I didn't want something that was old technology. So this company out in California had um, this interactive system. And oh, I think you're jumping the gun a little bit there. There's something in between. Oh, right? all right. So <laughs> oh, let me back up. So I, I shopped around, shopped around different um, places and I looked at the different types of equipment. <laughs> There was the BioPulse. Okay, which that's is the pins. The oh, pins. And for the hand. Mm -hmm. Okay, I've seen and that. And I felt that that was too medical, and I didn't want. To, I'm not a doctor. Uh, I'm a Reiki master. Yeah. And so I don't want to be telling people about their medical conditions. It sounded like I could be sued. Mm. So I'm like, that's not for me. I need okay. something that's more holistic, more understandable, something I would know, and the people that I work with would know. That's when I found this system, mm -hmm. and it's interactive. It comes from a company out in California. Um, I really liked it. I, I watched videos on it, um, and it, at that point, it was a leap of faith because nobody around here had it, mm -hmm. and it was a lot of money, and I had to put it on my credit card and be <laughs> blind and wait for this box to come by mail. <laughs> Talk about faith. Mm -hmm. The box came, so I was like, "Oh, thank you." You did better than me. I, would, <laughs> I wouldn't wait for the box. I was, I was too scared to spend the money. Right? Yeah. Yeah. It, it was a bit of an investment. Mm. Um, but when it came, and there's really not a lot of instruction that goes with it. So I've had this system now for six years, and it's a lot of trial and error, and understanding and reading, reading lots of books, reading. Um, uh, lots of people reading um, the energies and understanding. I think that was the big part too. Understanding chakras and energies is the best way to understand auras. Uh -huh. Because once you understand the chakras, you understand the colors. And yes. once you understand the colors, then you know what's going on around the body. Absolutely. Yeah. So it's quite difficult for somebody, I think, personally, to go out and make this investment that isn't Reiki certified. Mm -hmm or Reiki. Some kind of energy healing modality. Exactly, exactly. See, I'm a color freak. I sense with, with stones and everything. Yeah. So even without being Reiki certified, I was already sensing stuff oh, because right. of colors. And some people have that natural ability where they can see the energy and see the colors or are sensitive to the colors. Yeah. Yeah, um, I've met people who read auras just by looking at you. Mm -hmm. I've become, because I've been doing it for, you know, six years, I can kind of guess 
what your aura would be, mm -hmm. but I can't see them. Yep, I have the same thing, exactly the same. Uh, whatever work I'm doing, if I need to know the colors, uh, I, that or I get told it in my head. Mm. Yeah. And you should tell a lot of people you're talking in your head, but <laughs> I get told it in my head and it, it strikes right most of the time. Yeah. It yeah. does. So. If you listen to that inner voice, right? Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. So with that said, why don't we look at, can we look at some colors? Sure. Or? I just want to show that though, to everybody okay. out there that's watching. This is that so, that's that's sensor. so when we did the curling system, you had two, there were two hand sensors, and you would put your hands on both sides, sit in the chair, almost felt like you were gonna be electrocuted at any second. The camera, which was a Polaroid, would take your picture, and out would come that little, um, you know, the little itty bitty photograph. All right. So what we do with this is, um, go ahead, put your left hand. Left hand. Your thumb goes here. Okay. And I'll see if we can, what we usually find, we'll flip this over, and I'll turn it about. Here we go. Cool. Isn't this amazing? So what we're looking oh, at here. Oh, I want one now. Um, <laughs> okay. what, we're, what we have here are all the chakras within the body. Mm -hmm. And then we have um, the aura is made up of, this aura is made up of two parts. We have the stationary aura, or the core, that mm -hmm. runs through the center of the body. That doesn't change. That pretty much <clears throat> is your core. Then we have situational aura all the way around the body. That changes. Birth, marriage, death, road rage. The guy just flipped you off on 95. <laughs> your aura is going to change because guess what? You pick that up. Yep. We're like sponges. We pick up everything. Mm -hmm. So what we're seeing on Kathy here is she's got a beautiful green core. Green people are fabulous. They, they love people. They love nature. They mm -hmm. love animals. They, they love to help people. Um, They're great healers. Greens into our green blues. Yes. So when we start to look around these areas here, the green blue is, um, is the perfect combination for healers. And when, when I meet people and you know I, I look at their aura, I can tell usually if they're um, a nurse or a doctor mm -hmm. or because it's like you've got, if you're not, you should be because that's what your aura says you should be. Um, so sometimes I see the purple in my crown jock mm. on the top there. So what we have the bottom there too. is we receive all the energy um, in the universe on the female side, which is the left side. We're pulling in that energy. We process in our core and we put back out on the male side, which is the right side. Yeah, but it's, it's opposite if you're left-handed though. I never heard that. Mm -hmm. Oh, well they're not gonna get a good reading because I only have a left-handed sensor. Well, I'm left-handed though, so that's ah, interesting as well. It is, mm. so are we flipped? Look at how you just changed. Yeah. Your world just changed. Mm -hmm. Oh, your chakras look beautiful though. Thank you. You have some pretty chakras. When we were looking up in the top, the top is your belief system, okay. your crown. Things that are near and dear, things that you think about a lot. And as we're sitting here talking and yeah, you can I, see I don't change, know if she's yeah. channeling somebody, but she just changed up on me. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? <laughs> well, I'm always connected as long as you know, I'm awake. <laughs> Which is really difficult when I work with people that are in the psychic uh, realm. Mm -hmm. Because you can be channeling one second, and you, you have that in, in you. Um, and I've seen the aura change. Mm -hmm. So, And I think normally when people go to have an aura done, Taken, they're going to be very much on the right side of their brain, but with you running a show right now, yeah. you're going to be flipping back and forth to the left side of the brain, and that's going to make a difference. Yeah, the left hand. Because you just went all yellow. Right. Yeah, we, Which we is kept creativity. flipping back and forth. Yeah. The yellow well, is look very at purple, creative. Josie. Ooh. Now here we have spiritual, 100 <laughs> percent. Mm -hmm. um, so when we look it's at all in God's the violet, um, <laughs> very magical, mystical. Um, I'm going to try to read upside down because I don't know them all by heart. Um, hold on. You know what? I have a cheat sheet. You forgive me and let me put on glasses. I won't have to flip the, the board. <coughs> so, we, yeah, when we see the, the violets come in, we have the intuitive, the artistic, the magical, futuristic, idealistic. It also relates to your crown chakra. So, um, boy, your chakras <coughs> are beautiful, too. You're really bound. Balance. I worked very hard at it. Well, interestingly, let's do this. And so, 
we're able to look at your chakras. Your crown, your third eye, and your throat chakra are absolutely perfect. They're what's, wide open. What's the one? My mind. Your, <laughs> <laughs> your mind is good. Your mind is good. You your have a good mind. <laughs> and then um, your throat, I mean your heart chakra looks fabulous. Now these are difficult because we know these are the three female chakras. And when we start talking solar plexus and sacral. Yeah, they all raised though when you, when you said that the feminine energy there. Right, yeah. right. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of times women have, um, you know, we have uh, we're, we're young and we start going through adolescence and, and our bodies are changing and then we go into menopause and forget about it. Those <laughs> chakras are not happy. <laughs> so a lot of times we need a little extra love as women in, in the sacral and the solar mm -hmm. plexus. I see that so much. That I, I worked in social services and it was rampant. Oh. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Low self-esteem and you know um, some of the other, so we're able to, like I said, look at your chakras, and then we can look at, over here, this is fun. Ooh, you're very spiritual. So, where are we? Okay. All right. Am I moving? Sorry. So, this right here is the pie. We oh. call that the, um, the energy sort of pie. The light blue is our spiritual energy. The green is your mind, and the dark blue is your body. And you right now are taking up so much energy in the spiritual department. You're an extremely spiritual person. Mm. I have a hard time walking on earth. <laughs> mm. Yeah, it shows. I can see that. Yeah, it shows. What other, what other things are beautiful here? And it's hard for me to see upside down, but um, let me see. Right here is the yin and the yang and they look near perfect that your energies are in balance. This right here is incredible. This is your intuitive energy, your mental energy, your emotional, um, your, excuse me, your emotional energy, and your physical energy, and I think they're all up in the hundred thousands, which is an extremely high vibration, which I would expect Ooh. that in somebody who's spiritual. If I see that in a, um, you know, just an average Joe, uh, you know, a, a, 15 year old, well, her energy's high, 25 year old guy who has not really nothing going on, a woman, and they're vibrating that high, then we assume that they either need grounding and refocusing or they're meant to be on the spiritual path wow. because spiritual people vibrate high. Do you want to try? Yes. <laughs> oh my God, I want to buy it. <laughs> <laughs> so, which one I put my thumb on that, that button yep, on the side? Just okay. like that, and I'm going to bring us yeah, back over the to the fingers, here. don't on the pins. Yep. Oh, yeah. Like See, that? I, I would expect this from this panel. Where are we? Right here. Um, you guys are all, all beautiful spiritual people. Now we've and got that's the blues. That's exactly what mine looked like when I went to Grateful Hot, the Polaroid. And, and that happens so much. She's, she's bringing in a lot of blues now. When we look at the yeah. blues, we know that's the healing wow. energy coming through. You're a really that's good a healer. Healing. Are you Reiki too? Yeah, I'm, a, I'm a Reiki too. master, a Corona master, oh. a hypnotherapist. Oh, wow. And, um, plus, I do mediumship and stuff like that, too. Yeah. And you've got the indigos coming up here, which is extremely intuitive. Oh. Mm -hmm. um, and oh, they're going in, they're going out, they're going in, they're going out. Um, when we see the indigos coming in, into around the crown chakra, you've got some we, yellow coming in. Yep. We know yellow that green. that's oh. um, energy that the, the indigos are, are, are very intuitive. That starts to pop out right away. The green's coming in. She's a people person. Oh, God, yeah. Yes. Um, <laughs> no, Kathy, am I really? <laughs> uh, I have trouble talking to crowds. <laughs> and, and what can happen also is transference. We're sitting kind of close together. Uh -huh. You can be picking up on each other's energy. Oh yeah. So when we start to look at something, say, and like now it's this. And a lot of green. Yeah, but. Look at her auric field. It's at, I think it's at 100%. So that means as far out as your fingertips will go outside around your body, your aura is out 100%. Yeah. That's not a good time to go stand in the 10 items or less uh, because someone's going to start talking to you. They're going to feel that energy that makes you open for people with low energy to approach. Well, I'm very good about sucking it in really fast when yep. that happens because Holding I talk to people everywhere. I'm just... <laughs> I walk into a crowd and my husband goes, we're going to have a cookout tomorrow with those people, you know? <laughs> Look at every, all her chakras. Uh -huh. My God, you are up 100% almost yeah. on all of your chakras. Well, I think I'm also loving this discussion too, which is probably making them even a little higher right? because this is like, I almost bought the first one that you talked about, 
Oh, the, the bio pulse. Yeah, I yeah. almost bought that. That works really great. That re bio pulse is the the pins one, the right? Pins, okay. But and it tells you all different parts of the body that might have issues and, and things. And I almost bought the one, the one that Grateful Heart had too. Yeah. Uh, I was at Learning Connection teaching classes. Somebody came in with one, and I was shaking with excitement. And I'm sitting there saying, "Really, with what I got going on in my life?" Because I was starting the business. Right. My husband's business was growing, but the overhead was growing too. And I said, Patty, no, no, be good girl. But now that I've seen this one, I'm just, it'll be very hard for me not to buy this. Um, so what's oh. really great about this system, too, is, well, you know what, let me just... Uh, Do you want me to take my up. hand off yeah. it? Yeah, that's fine. I'll just close it like this, and I'll show you some of the samples, of the things that, that you can print out with it. Um, so if you have someone, so what I do is um, I'll print the... I'll print it out for people, and then I made a, because it came with, it doesn't come with a lot. So I made a master sheet that explains what's going on here. When people leave, okay. they go home with the picture, they go home with the master sheet, and I made a color chart for them on the back as well, because then they, people forget, five minutes out the door, your phone's ringing at 9.01. 9.01. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And they said, what was orange again? And so, yep. um, you have, they have, so this is things that I've put together after six years of working with this. And um, they're able to, oh, I have something interesting to tell you. They're able to take this all home. Now, see right here around the heart chakra, mm -hmm. there's a, a haze, a little yeah. shade. Mm -hmm. That's a spirit box. So this is even, this program is able to look at things internally, like this person um, has a loved one that's passed that yep. they've mourned and when we get okay. the spirit box around the heart it's it's actually kind of like a three-dimensional box yeah and um, that's really cool because yeah that's what you're talking about right there though yep yep it's, yeah. a, oh, that's so it's cool. a definite yeah. box yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and they call that the spirit box and then sometimes around the um, if we're doing I'll show you pictures of my daughter because she's just so fabulous and she would let mom put pictures of her on the, on the TV. Beautiful, huh? So right here, there's a white spot around her head. Yes. That is a spirit guide. Now, it's uh -huh. on the male side, so it's a male spirit guide, someone who's huh. passed. Interesting. Um, that okay, I got one done, and mine was on the opposite side. So it would so be a female. I, I didn't know it was that, so that's, now, thank you. Now, if it was up around the top, we call that the crown, oh. and that appears a lot in people that have the ability to... Mm -hmm. talk out of the body and sometimes when you're trying to tell this to a person who's just there because they kind of just want to know just am I pink am I yellow you know? <laughs> yeah. and then you're like well you kind of got a crown and then what does that mean and you're like oh god do I have to explain this they're gonna think I'm a lunatic right yeah um but it it's it's so sensitive to things like that how it picks up on and um my daughter is so magical this is a she just went away for the weekend but she gets a lot of whites all three of my children have beautiful, beautiful energy, um, and she uh, is a graphic designer who's always done magical work on her um, designs. Excellent. Even, so I would expect that from my love, my yes. Alexandra, Alexandra K. McLaughlin. <laughs> um, yet, see, now she'll really... Uh, so this was after myself, after I had had an attunement, and all of my chakras are right completely up, nice. up, up, yeah. up. That's what you wanted with an attunement. Right. Yeah. You, want, you want them all cleansed, yeah. cleared, open. My auric feel is wide open. Wasn't a day to go shopping at Walmart, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, oh my my yin and my yang are on point. All my vibrations, my energy. My pi is 33, 33, 34. Ooh. So I have a question though. Okay. When the um, when their yin and their yang is off, yes. What happens though? Then what suggestions do you have for that? So if the yin and the yang are off, I always tell people, at least go outside, take your shoes off, get connected to the ground. Mm -hmm. Basically, while. just rebalance themselves. Okay. Balance and um, breathing. Okay. What people forget to do is breathe. Yeah, yeah. that's I an easy one to forget. It's yeah. so they never easy. breathe well than here. Right, I mean, make that diaphragm pop, hold that in. Um, 
Uh, Diane Lupo was, uh, uh, in, she's in my Reiki lineage, Upwood. And I remember her telling me about this box breathing, how, you know, four simple, you know, four seconds and hold and, and how to make the diaphragm box. Mm. And I'll have people that are sitting in the chair and their aura is small and stunted. Now, a perfect aura is nice and pointy like this. Mm -hmm. Well, some people come in, they look like a softball. And <laughs> I'll tell them, just take a couple of deep breaths for me. Just really breathe in. And all of a sudden, you'll see this go boink and mm -hmm. pop right up. And um, Something as simple as breathing, yeah. Yeah, just breathe. Something as simple, yeah. It's, it doesn't yeah. cost anything. It doesn't, you don't need to go to 500 <laughs> teachers to learn it. Just breathe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Relax and breathe. Good job. No. Excellent. Yeah, something so simple we forget. Right, yeah. right. I'm and then auras are also prickly. Sometimes we get the energy where people feel like you, you touch them in the static electricity. Uh -huh. So a simple like moon water spray. Last night was a great night to make some moon mm. water spray. Yeah, oh it's a full God. moon, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. And clips and yeah. whole nine yards. So this one, um, I, I throw them together. It's uh, a little moon water. Um, I use a little clary sage, and then I either do some wisteria or some um, frankincense or something a little flower base, but then I'll put in the clearing. And you, the aura is electric, so if somebody's yeah. too prickly, a little mist around them. We clear them up quick, and they feel good, they smell good. They now, why does that happen, though, when the aura gets prickly? I think a lot of it has to do with people themselves. I mean, we live in this he this hectic life. We're mm -hmm. running and running and running. If you run a car across the carpet 20 or 30 times, you're going to electrocute yourself mm -hmm. if you touch something. Yeah. And I think that's what happens to the human body, okay. too. We I, don't, I used to wear one of the, the watches, the Apple watches, and the Apple watch would say, breathe, slow down, breathe, breathe. Isn't that great? And I finally gave it to my granddaughter because <laughs> I said, that was at my corporate job. And then I'd go to my shop and I'd be saying to everybody, okay, inhale, one, two, three, four, five, exhale. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And I'd be taking the breaths all the way down. And I tell all my clients at night, when you're awake at two o'clock in the morning, take three deep breaths and the oxygen throws out the crazy thoughts. There you go. And, and then you can, you figure out that it's not as important as keeping you up all night. And I laugh because almost every time that I tell a client that, I stayed up for two nights and forgot to do it myself. <laughs> you took on their energy. <laughs> they breathed it out for you. Yes, you got it. You got it. Yep. Exactly. Oh my goodness. Exactly. But this, um, is, this is crazy. I love other it. Other things, yeah. um, a clear double point port, quartz uh, pendulum is great for clearing the energy around the body. Uh, some reason that double point is better and uh, just clockwise motions around your body to help clear and center you. Um, I keep tourmaline around, mm -hmm. um, especially if like we've got all these energies here. It's a very protective stone. It kind of keeps out any negative energies. So that's something that I, I travel with. The woman's stone, right? Yeah. The rose quartz. Mm. Um, I think I just bring this because it makes me feel good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And um, my latest, a, a young girl just gave me this. Oh, and that's beautiful. Isn't it? Yeah. It's really pretty. And um, of course, um, the amethyst is such a healing stone. Mm -hmm. And it's such a magical stone. a touch stone. of something on the bottom. Isn't, yeah. That's mm -hmm. beautiful. Yeah, it's like the form of another kind of stone, yeah. Right? Yeah. <clears throat> Is that, could that be smoky quartz, you think? I don't know. It's got a green hint to it. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely was the start of another stone, though, for sure, when they, uh, when they took that out. And I love the lines that run through it. It has yeah. great vibrational energy. Yeah. The lines go completely around. Yeah. So and it's symmetrical, though, all the way around, though, too. Right, yeah. right, yeah. And um, also, I'll, I'll wear a lot of uh, stones when I'm out and about. Um, especially when I'm working with energy, the malachite is great uh -huh. for um, the hot chakra. Uh, and I actually just got one yesterday when I ran into you. Oh. <laughs> and I ended up picking up this little guy. Oh, that's a cute little guy. Yeah. He's got a face all over him. Yeah. 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 And, the way and it was carved out, yeah. So I was like, oh, okay. Well, that'll yeah. be my new pocket stone. Yeah. But those double pointed crystals are so powerful. 20 years ago, I'm not a big person for the casino. I always joked that if pocketbooks came out, I would 
gamble, but I don't gamble, you know. But um, on one of my husband's cousins, they had a big birthday thing, and we, we went down there, and the energy up there was terrible. Mm -hmm. It was before they had, like, the kids' centers and all that stuff, so kids are locked in home cars, do you know what I mean? It was just terrible oh, up there. And I said to my husband, how fast before we can scoot out? I went into the bathroom, I was washing my hands, and my crystal went like this, and the bottom half broke off. Right, it took a yeah. bullet for you. Well, I, I did take a bullet for it me. It took a bullet for Absolutely. you. Absolutely. We even yep. took a guy home. He spent all his money and he had no way to get back home in Rhode Island. My wow. goodness. So it was, and, and it took it, so you're right, it took yep. a bullet, it's very yeah. powerful. Right. So we're almost we'll at the that. end of the half an hour episode. This went by Wicked Quick. Did yes, it did. So Rhode Island. Island. A lot of fun. Wicked Quick. Wicked Quick. <laughs> wicked Quick with you ladies. I Definitely like your girls. <laughs> So how can people get a hold of them if they want to get one of these for them? Um, for well, uh, right now, after COVID, things are going slow. Um, uh, but if you contact me, I have um, uh, my email is relaxingreiki111 Ooh. at gmail.com. Um, right now, I'm kind of like in a neutral. I'm rebuilding my website, so we're under construction. Mm -hmm. I think that's the word today. Yeah. yeah. Um, and we're kind of merging in Reiki and Aura, and then um, uh, I'm going to do a major release of where I will be in the future. But right now, we're just uh, still in, in a, a building mode. Do you so have a Facebook page? I do. Um, again, it's uh, Relaxing Reiki 111 okay. on Facebook, but it's under construction too. Okay. You can always hit me up, Mandy McLaughlin. Mandy yeah. McLaughlin, and, okay. And maybe by the time it gets on the air, it'll be done. It may. It just may. I hope so. You know, it's um, it's a lot of work, this whole internet thing. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, and this day and age, you can't get on not being right. online. I want to thank you very much for inviting mm. me here today. Oh, you're very this welcome. Thank really, you for coming. really yeah. fun. I, I had a ball. Great. It's very different than, yeah. and it was just absolutely Yeah, I didn't fabulous. realize how advanced so all of our photography have gotten. It, it's got extremely advanced yeah. over the years. And, and the camera itself is um, only a webcam. It's the programming inside the computer in the hand sensor, that's okay. the most important thing. Right, yeah, this so. has everything together. It really yeah. does. Very it cool. Really does. Yeah. Very so the cool. camera takes a picture of you with yes. the colors. Yep. So, as so you have that to take home. This would be like my daughter. Uh huh. Um, or we could do what we just did today, where we did the chakra analysis that you don't even need the camera for. Okay, nice. So we can, didn't do the webcam part today, though. Nice, no. then, nice hand, paper. Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. I use quality paper. It's a 32 pound uh, paper. Uh, I, I believe in giving people a good product. Oh, yeah. nice. Yeah. Nice and, and it's stiff. Um, 98 uh, uh, color, 98 um, brightness. Mm hmm Yeah. Yep. So that way they have something really good to take with them. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Excellent. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. I'll be looking into that machine. <laughs> <laughs> well, just be Just okay don't buy five of me. them. <laughs> <laughs> and well, the shipping was cheaper if I bought five. <laughs> I got to tell you, um, my, my first two years with it, it crashed all the time. Did it? Constantly crashed. Um, it won't run unless it has a high, a high um, quality computer to go with it. Oh, OK. So oh. now you, so it needs to be a newer computer, not an old to be, one. Oh, god, yeah. yeah. I have a gateway, and it locked it up, crashed it. It was awful. Then I bought a Hewlett Packard, nothing. This is a Lenovo, um, top of the line. And, and it uh, works pretty good, it, as, yeah. we, as we've seen. My daughter stuff. told me, she says, Mom, you have a better gaming computer than I do. <laughs> and she's into graphic design. Yeah. But it, it real I it was trial and error. Like mm -hmm. I said, it didn't come with a great manual. No. So Well because um, this is still so new though with this this well, that was five, six years ago you got it, maybe yeah, they got it. Maybe they've updated, updated, updated the manual. Yeah. Well they've yeah. updated the system to three D. So if I want to drop another couple so thousand. This is in 2D. <laughs> oh. So this is what we saw today is two D. Two D. Oh okay. So the new stuff that's coming out is um three D and it's it's a lot more money. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I want to come play with you. <laughs> you might have you some get friendly the competition happening pretty soon. You no. know what? I, when I go to places, I will visit the aura photography. I'll see how they're doing it. Um, and we got a queue going on over there. Yeah. And, and I will help support other people and give them yeah. pointers. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it's a big The one thing I got to check is I would be more playing with it. That's what I do right now. It. I just play. Yeah, I'd be playing with it, my so I have to... Family and friends, um, I am not...